Is it possible for the Congress to look at a leadership beyond the Gandhi family, as some of your colleagues like Kapil Sibyl have suggested? I don't know. We leave it to the AICC. You, you have an opinion, I'm sure. I'm You're a senior part? leader. You must have an opinion. Oh, I'm not going to tell you how I vote secretly. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. But is it possible to look at like beyond... Let the AICC decide. To me, it's, 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 it's an issue, but not but an issue that is blown out of proportion. It's an issue, but it's blown out of proportion. Why? Why is the AICC will decide. You see, who is the, I've said this before, who is the party leader can only be decided by the party leaders and the rank and file. Suppose I vote. I vote my opinion, but I'll have to reflect my constituents, my rank and file, my workers, my youth congress workers, my Mahila congress workers, my NSUI unit in my constituency or my erstwhile constituency, my district. They, I know what they think, and my vote has to reflect those views. Who is the leader of the Congress party can only be decided by Congress members. It cannot be decided by the media. It certainly cannot be decided by the opposition parties, and it certainly cannot be decided by armchair critics, however well-meaning and well-disposed they are to the Congress party. Sure, but there is a track record one looks at, and Rahul Gandhi's track record is not very impressive as the leader of the Congress party. He doesn't even seem very interested in being leader of the Congress party. He's not here in the country again at the moment. And sources close to Prashant Kishore have actually cited his absence from all these meetings you all have been having as a certain, reflecting a certain aloofness in him uh, to engage even with someone like uh, Prashant Kishore. So therefore, I'm asking you very honestly, uh, is Rahul Gandhi the right man for the job? That's your opinion. You've expressed your opinion. When the time comes for me to express my opinion, I will, but I'm certainly not going to tell you how I'll vote at the ICC session. There will be an election, and a Congress president will be elected. Let me ask you about alliances, which was another thing that Prashant Kishore's presentation, I believe, stressed on. You spoke to us a few weeks ago, and you said something very interesting, that the next general election would have to be fought state by state, where the Congress would have to get into smart alliances and possibly allow other parties to take the lead in those alliances, whether it's the TMC or the Aam Aadmi Party. Now, has that been discussed at all within your party? And what, what was the sort of response to that? Yes, yes. Uh, it has been discussed. We recognize that in many states, or roughly one half of the states, we are the lead party to take on the BJP. In the remaining one half of the states, we are either the junior partner in an alliance or a regional party is the lead opposition to the BJP. And we have to strike deals, coalitions with the regional party. For example, we have a coalition with the regional party, which is the lead party, say in Tamil Nadu, in Jharkhand, and in Maharashtra. We don't have an alliance with the regional party, the lead party, say in Andhra Pradesh, in Odisha. I'm not saying we should or should not. I'm just giving you basic facts. There were the three categories of states. One, we are, we are the lead party, and we have to win support. In the second category, a small number of states where we are not the first party, but we are the second party, and we are in a coalition. The third group is the states where we are not the lead party and we don't have a coalition. So we'll have to address these states on a state-specific strategy, which I think is well recognized within the Congress leadership. 